I've had so many pastas in my life, I gotta say, this is probably top five ever. The creaminess, the berryness, it's just so fresh and it's so unique. Mmm. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Leze, Albania. Today I'm here at Mirzi E. Zanave, eco-friendly or eco-resort, agricultural resort. It's basically a huge farm with nine room hotel. So people come here, they can either stay, they can sleep the night, wake up, have breakfast, explore the grounds, or you can come here for lunch, dinner, whatever you want. They make their own wine, they make their own cheese, tomatoes, uh, it's never ending, I mean, in terms of what they have in, in crops. You know, we went around the grounds this morning. We saw a little bit of everything from the process of making wine, making cheese, making the sun-dried tomatoes is right in front of us. I mean, this is just gorgeous. What a beautiful spot in Albania. So if you're ever in Albania, it's only about an hour and a half drive north from Tirana, and you can stay here, you can explore. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have lunch, we're gonna eat some delicious food, we're gonna go to the back in the kitchen, see what they're making, and then eat and explore. Let's go. Let's go, man. Kitchen? Yes. Let's go. do it. He's gonna give me a quick tour of the kitchen. There's so many things happening right now. There's so many people here. There's like 200 people eating lunch right now. Goose. It's goose, yeah. Goose is oka. Uh, goose. 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 We made one geese. Spoil it inside with onions and clams. And we serve the sauce with clams. So this geese is actually baked with onions and plums. So it's extra juicy, a little fruity. Yeah. And right here we have quail with pila. Delicious. Thank you. Shishabab of pork is big. Shishabab. We, we put it in the fire. And time we have a little shishabab of uh, lamb. Yeah, the best for, for, for the barbecue and the fire is just the meat with the fat. The meat without fat, uh, I don't think to put in the fire is not good for my opinion. Yeah, so basically because the fat becomes juicy and crunchy, yes. so that's why you should put it in the fire. Yes, and well, and here we prepare ice creams. We have two different ice creams. One is with coffee, another is with blueberry and uh, honey. It's juice of blueberry frozen. It's fresh and cool. We put together with ice cream of blueberry and uh, honey. So what he's doing here is that he's brewing coffee that they put on the ice cream. So, and then... Ooh. Okay, so this last dessert was basically frozen blueberry juice on a vine that was from the blueberry tree, or the, the, the stem of the blueberry tree. Crazy, bro. Crazy. This guy's doing some unique food. I can't wait. Slow food. It's so good. Farm the table. <laughs> you have three options to dine. You can either go to the forest area, up in the terrace, or you can go to this terrace. This is a huge open air terrace with vines on top. This is where it's packed. Packed. Okay. It's more fresh here. Oh yeah, it's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. Okay, so we're here sitting in the beautiful terrace. I mean, this is such a beautiful setting. Incredible. I mean, for summer, it's perfect. He is packed every single day in summer, just non-stop clientele, and I, I know why. I mean, just the food is phenomenal, the way they do everything, you know, lots of love, slow food. And right here we have the salad, which is basically ricotta cheese, tomatoes, oil, look, everything is locally sourced, and then right here we have bread, right? This is like a, what's the, oh, I know this is. Albanian feta. We use this for beer time. But time, uh, my grandmother is my grandmother made it, made it the feta, toasted. I go to steal of my grandmother and to eat. <laughs> and I put in the restaurant for this. That's amazing. <laughs> time to jump on this ricotta cheese. Wow. Phenomenal. So delicate. So beautiful. The presentation. Mmm. Mm. What a soft cheese. Mm. No salt. No salt. It's like sweet. So good. All white wine is with the chèche, local variety, and chardonnay. The chèche. 
Mm. Oh man, what a delicious house wine. It's a little dry, fruity, oh, cold. Mm. Super fresh, like juice, you know? And I think it's super, super natural. It's more important. Oh man, this cheese. Mm. The basil, tomato, and fresh cheese. Simply appetizer. So the burek, homemade burek with pumpkin, spicy peperoncino is what typical. The dried tomatoes we see together now. The olives, green tomato and their salt fermented. And the normal zucchini. Here we have the vegetables, corn and eggplant and or, or pumpkin yellow and the pepperoncino, pepperoni, sorry, mm -hmm. that is so sweet. The okra is typical from Albanians and another pasta mayon cheese is we see together, no? In what place we made. And when fresh, simply salad with basilicum and tomato. We use the tomato just in this season. As he said, we have so many different things. We have tomatoes, we have potatoes, cheese, we got eggplant, what else? Peppers, okra, dried tomatoes, we have the burek, more cheese, olives. I'm gonna start off with the chiole zucca. Chiole zucca is one of my favorite things ever. We eat this in Italy all the time. Basically, it's a flour. Yeah, that so has been flour and eggs and, and beer. So the batter is flour and beer and eggs. Inside we have ricotta cheese, zucchini flour. Next I'm gonna try this amazing potato. It's like a purple potato. Yeah. Which is, I think it's my first time trying a purple potato. Mmm, so soft. Love the outer layer, the skin of the potato. The cheese, it's almost like fondue, straight up. Mmm. And then obviously, tomato, juicy tomato. That's only in season right now. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. So juicy, so plumpy. What's amazing about it is that this was picked from that garden right there. And he was telling me, he knows when it's seasoned, when he starts hearing like, the crickets or the grasshoppers making the chirping noises, you can hear all behind us. That's when it's seasoned, that's when it's time to get your tomatoes. And this is sun-dried tomatoes that has been sitting in oil for a day. How many days? How many days? As you say, dried is five days. And you can see them being dried right there, right now. Mm, so much flesh in there. The flesh of tomato obviously is super dry, but it's absorbed some oil. Wow. This is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. A little okra. Wow, this one's like falling apart. Maybe some of this. This is eggplant? Yeah. Right? And then this one, whoa, everything is like literally falling apart. Zucchini. This is zucchini. Mmm. Pasta. Albanian yuca, yes. We, you, we made it with the uh, with blueberry. So this is the yuca. This is Albanian cayetele. But this one's unique because it has blueberry and it's like literally like a purple pasta. <laughs> it's fresh, have acidity and the cow cream fermented is sweet and sour sign and have a little fat that is good. Before I try the pasta, I'm gonna try the okra. Okay. Dude, what'd you do to that thing? It just like fell apart my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. And this is the pasta. Woo! How beautiful this is. This is gonna be good. Purple pasta. Mm. I don't even know how to tell you what I'm feeling here. It's hot, tastes blueberries, delicious pasta, almost al dente. Wow, the creaminess. It's the cow milk, man. Look at this. What? This is the fermented. My gosh. Mm. Yeah, so my friend's saying here that he doesn't like to add like 20 different ingredients to something. It's usually very simple. One, two good ingredients, 
obviously from here from the farm, fermented cow cream, wild blueberries. I've had so many pastas in my life, I gotta say, this is probably top five ever. The creaminess, the berryness, it's just so fresh and it's so unique. Mm. Oh my God. And that is the roasted goose with plums. I'm just gonna jump on one of these. <laughs> Small pieces of meat, nice fat. Damn, the sheep, so good. Mm -hmm. So usually it's a bigger portion. Obviously, he brought me less. It's okay, I'll get a little more. Goose, geese, yes, this is gonna be great. I love it, when I got here, right in front right there where I parked the car, there was like a million geese. Oh wow, look at this, the amount of flesh here. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love it with the plum sauce. So, if you guys have never had geese meat before, it's a little different than chicken. It's a little gamier, okay? Different bird, right? Mm. I'm gonna get some of that sauce. That was amazing with the star. Like what's that? Mm. No, it's just kebabs. All right, so here we have dessert. We have a yogurt cake with wild berries. And under it's like a cookie yeah. almost. Yeah. I started putting almost tastes like a blueberry pie with the freshest show you've ever had. Cold, the bottom's a little crunchy, a little nutty. Troppo bono. Wow. Okay, so next up I'm having a blackberry ice cream, but it's more like a popsicle. Mm hmm Oh my god, this is like straight up pure blackberry. You really like invented something awesome here. This is really cool. Mm hmm Mmm. Look at that. Straight from the blackberry tree. Oh! Blueberry ice cream with pine syrup, and then you have that shell on top. The outer layer is basically frozen blackberry as well. It almost tastes like honey, obviously, very similar, but it's syrup, pine syrup. Mm. Coaster cream and fruits, yes. One last bite, let's try it. Nice fluffy custard, still very like honey-like. Did you put syrup in here too, or is merely? I mean, this whole feast was incredible, my man. Thank you. Thank you, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you? Oh, that's a trophy. So this is coffee ice cream with roasted coffee. They literally just roast it, as you saw, and they put it on top. What, it's probably super hot. Yeah, it's hot. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. Mmm, the ice cream is amazing. That's the flavor of coffee. When you bite into the coffee, the beans. Mmm, nice crunch. It's like phenomenal. Best coffee ice cream I've ever had. I'll have some more for sure. Next, we're gonna go see how they make some textiles and some pottery in the area. This is not done here on the property, it's right outside some local, you know, villagers. And here we go, look at all the geese. Never ending geese. After a two kilometer drive, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's super hot in Albania. I drink a quarter of a cup of water, you're taking it? So, so what is it? It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Oh, okay, so they're doing this here. Wow. Yes. Look at this. Yes. So this lady right here, she's weaving basically <laughs> tablecloths, right? Tablecloths, and behind her, her husband, I'm guessing her husband, He's making these like these baskets for bread. You can only find it at your restaurant or another restaurant. Yes, one of the restaurants. Yes. Wow. So he gets the, the branches and he puts it together and he makes this beautiful basket. 
is one fantastic woman and made uh, the best quality of texture of this. Uh, we call Msala Teza. Teza. So she does this for about four to eight hours every single day, just non-stop weaving. So like her, she has like, you know, a scarf on her head because the heat is just out of control. It's like, hoo, 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 hoo. He takes, you said roughly 10 to 20 minutes to do it? Maybe to me one, he needed something for something. Okay. Yeah, for one, yes. Hard work to go in the mountain to select the perfect uh, little boots for this. So. Yeah, lots of hard work. He has to find the, the branches, basically, and then he has to come here, put it on the wood, which is the mold, and then he puts them in, and he starts going around them. I mean, that's a lot of intense work, but it looks beautiful, and it's definitely a great addition to any restaurant. Okay, I'll tell you more stuff. So you buy some? Yeah, I buy it. Limonderi. Limonderi. Ciao. Ciao. My friend, these people are too nice. Too nice. Everywhere you go in Albania, you're going to feel this because it's really local. It is all about farm life. Most people, 2 million of the 3 million, live outside of Tirana. And that's spread out through farmland, through other cities. Yeah, but there's so much, so much richness in culture here. <laughs> We're here. Time to see some ceramic work, pottery. Oh wow, huge vases in there. So the owner of this property is named Vasilis and he makes his own clay. So this is his clay, right? He just pulls it out and then goes over here and makes pottery. But as you can see, he has like little cups here. Pretty amazing. All right, let's see how they make it. My friend. So Vasilis does around 200 of these every single day, just these. But you also make other ones, right? And you have to paint, okay, okay, so it's a, it's a long process. So, starts off with clay, comes here, he molds it, then he goes over there and he puts it in the sun for what, one day? In summer one day? Yeah, in summer because it's freaking boiling. <laughs> Vasilis produces his own clay and it lasts two years. And from the clay, he makes all this, look at this. I don't even know, this is like for, oh, this is a piggy bank? Oh, that's great. You have a little hole for a piggy bank? I love it, I love the red. Very Albania, right? And right here, we have the two eagles, right? With the hand, two eagles. Here is a beautiful vase. Love the colors. Colors are beautiful. And here, more vases and more piggy banks. She's painting the piggy banks. A place to save money. <laughs> I love your work here. He also has over here these beautiful jugs for rakia, right? These are for rakia. Behind, we also have this is ashtray, you know, with the double eagle. Beautiful ashtray. I mean, so many beautiful products here. Oh, really, really nice. Shenzhen. So this is the area we're in. And this, what is this for? I guess it's for rakia too. I don't know, maybe a small rakia. I love this part of this country. There's so many different things at work. Everything is handmade. Who is that? Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg. National hero. Yes. Fight with Osman. All right, guys, let's go back. It's time for dinner. So we just got back to the hotel and look, this is my room right here, this one. Incredible, love this architecture. I wanna show you the room, and then we're going to dinner. So this room is called the horse, or it's horse here. Nine rooms, and they gave me the best one. The one with this epic view, look at this. Love this huge window. Two huge pieces of glass, love the stone. And this is an old stone building, and they literally cut this and put the glass Wow, look, queen size, twin, all wood, stone, 
wood, air conditioning, really, really critical. And over here we have the bathroom divided by glass, right? So you can go to the bathroom and see the sunset. Amazing. Now I'm gonna take a quick shower and I'll see you at dinner. Let's go. Gazor. Gazor, Gazor. Just delicious fresh juice. Mm. Yes. I'm ready for dinner, my man. Yes, it's full of vitamin C. Vitamin C? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we are in this beautiful terrace. You have easily like 25 tables. They're all spread out. Yeah. On top we have the beautiful vines, lots yeah. of beautiful lights, and the sun is setting. Gorgeous. I mean, this is, this is true dinner. So what are we having for dinner? Come on, Uh Surprise. Surprise, perfect. <laughs> That's all I need. And Rakia, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here we have dinner. You have so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so hungry. I'm hungry. Most things here are appetizers that we also had at lunch, right? So we have sun-dried tomatoes, the burek, the uh, fiori zucca, the delicious potatoes with cheese. Then we have cheese, cold cuts, and then again, Beautiful vegetables and a salad, but we also have what is the kebab? Yes, the pork shish kebab. Yeah. The pork kebab. Yes. Okay, and then this one? And this is the baby goat cooked. What? Baby goat, classical cooked of baby goat. Baby goat. Yes. I'm just gonna skip everything else and jump on to those. All right, guys, let's jump on the pork. And it also has some yogurt, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. And this pork comes from here too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just... Now I'm gonna jump on the baby goat. Baby goat, wow. Look how yummy this is. And this goat comes from right there. Oh, I love goat. Goat and lamb, the best. Mm. The goat flesh falls off the bone. Hey, see, it's going burro. Boo. Delicious. Wow. Phenomenal, man. This is. This is the best food. Mm. I love the experience here. You know, come here. I'd suggest staying here at least one night. There's nine rooms so you have to book ahead of time. Come here and do everything I did. You can see cheese. You can see salami, smoking. They're making wine, you can see pottery, textiles, walk around the property. If you want to book my room, which is what, the horse? Yeah, in the horse room. The horse room, it's the best room. You can get the one below, but the top is better, better view. <laughs> yeah. You see the sunrise, I'm sure, tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. And yeah, you can come here for lunch or dinner if you're not staying on the property. But if you're staying here, you can you know, obviously enjoy breakfast. Let's enjoy this feast. Cheers. Thank you for coming here in Albania. No problem, no problem, yeah. thank you. Bizarre. Well guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Albania. Bono bono. Mm-hmm.